<sighs> Hi everybody, how's it going? My name is Thamria. Welcome everybody to a quick vlog video. It's probably not going to be quick though. Uh, hi, how's it going? <laughs> in today's video, I want to talk about some things that recently have happened that are pretty exciting and some things that will be happening again in the future for this channel and uh, some things, uh, some directions I want to take this channel over to. First of all, not sure if you've seen on Twitter or not, but I actually uh, and am alumni at my university. <laughs> Although these things look very silly, we put it to the left there. Uh, I'm now a graduate at my university. I have a now obtained a degree in IT. God, this thing looks so silly on me. <laughs> it looks so stupid, but whatever. So yeah, I graduated and that's actually pretty awesome. I'm more than happy to just be done with university and to actually do something more meaningful in my life and put a little more time into this as well as other aspects and uh, other parts of my life. First of all, before we continue further, uh, we actually have now a PO box, I wrote some information down on here. Uh, we reached 20,000 subscribers over on the main channel and that was the muscle that we needed to open a PO box. So there were a lot of viewers on videos and on streams that were asking me like, hey, Thamriel, when are you going to open a PO box? I want to be able to send you, I don't know, some things that I hand make or fan art or letters and stuff like that and be able to, I don't know, further interact with you. And for the longest time, I didn't really want to open a P.O. box. I didn't really understand how it works or, I don't know, I guess I was feeling kind of shy about it as well because, like, you kind of, <laughs> you're kind of putting yourself more out there to people and it was kind of a little bit out of my comfort zone. I wasn't, I'm not really an open person, not, not sure if you could tell, but I'm not too much of an open person. I like to keep myself to a little bit to a certain extent. And it's not that I don't want to be able to talk with y'all, like seriously, talk with y'all, hang out with y'all, be able to, you know, read comments, hang out with y'all on stream. It's absolutely wonderful. And I could not, I could not be more blessed to be able to hang out with so many awesome people. Seriously, y'all are the best. But the main channel reached 20,000 subscribers. So we went ahead and opened a PO box. I have the information right here. P.O. Box is, if you've been ever interested of sending in anything at all, letters, art, I don't know, whatever. Somebody even made a joke about body pillows and boob mouse pads, but if you ever considered uh, sending things like that ever at all, even boob mouse pads and body pillows, I guess, you can send it over to Thamriel at P.O. Box 15723 at Wilmington, North Carolina, 28408. That is the current P.O. Box that I have available right now. And uh, if you want to send in any kind of stuff in there, letters, art, drawing, sketches, I don't know, what, whichever, something creative, I don't know, uh, you more than welcome to. Now, that doesn't mean I expect anything in particular, it's just, I don't know, some people are like, hey, <laughs> I want to send a booby mouse pad to you, uh, how could I send it? <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't have a P.O. box. And somebody wanted to send, first of all, somebody wanted to send some wood art, another person wanted to send a body pillow, and uh, that's how we have a... A P.O. Box. So expect that wood art and body pillow very soon. Second of all, because the university is now finally over, I can have a little more time towards YouTube and everything. So I want to rework some things that we have going on here on the channel, particularly the upload schedule. I realized that it's a little bit messy and I went ahead and used a whiteboard that I have to literally draw out this crazy plan of how am I gonna, you know, get this fixed up. I'll go ahead and put a picture somewhere around here of exactly what I'm doing when it comes to the content, but I draw out this whole plan that I have regarding the second channel. And I'm being very thorough, I'm using my IT degree and a little bit of skills in project management as best as I possibly can in order to make this <laughs> functional work. <laughs> using my degree, sorta, uh, in order to make anime games and anime boobs happen on here. <laughs> so I realized there's a balance issue when it comes to the channel. Balance as in things are being overloaded, games are being edited in and kind of being shoved in and being overlooked by, I don't know, the majority of the audience when it comes to the type of content that I want to produce on the channel and the type of videos that I want to make. The upload schedule also gets shafted and gets very unbalanced and there's just an imbalance to everything. So instead I decided I would just balance everything and funny enough i'm a libra and libra's uh sign is the scales or whatever so i guess i should try to embody balance as best as i possibly can so for monday wednesday and friday i'm thinking what we want to do is have two visual novels and one live stream block that has something to do with maybe like a jrpg right so we're gonna have two visual novels and one jrpg for us to upload that are all the same tone as the main 
uh, as the main game, which is Danganronpa 2. Danganronpa 2 has done incredible over on this channel. I'm so glad that so many people enjoy and watching the series over here, and I'm really blessed that y'all are enjoying it. Really happy that y'all enjoying the series, and I can't wait to upload more and get onto Danganronpa 3, get onto the Spare Girls, the uh, the off game that are gonna be releasing for it, which is still canon technically. So following suit of Danganronpa 2 art style and the feel of it, I think it'd be very best to put in Persona 5 recordings from the stream uh, onto it as you know as a second game that's been uploaded on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And because I want to find something that's very complementary to Persona 2 and something and because I want to find something that's very complementary to Persona 5 and Danganronpa 2, I'm thinking of actually introducing the nonary games. Zero Escape the nonary games have been ported over to uh, PC as a recent and I also have the third one up and ready whenever you know people want to get into that one But apparently we have to play the first and the second one before you can fully experience the third one Or fully understand the third one and to enjoy it and it's a very solid looking mystery genre game It has a lot of puzzles murder and a lot of dark grim settings and scenarios that I really want to try to dive into It feels like very Danganronpa E except maybe like Danganronpa for adults and has very severe consequences. You might be also wondering why God Eater 2 is not on that list, since God Eater 2 was being uploaded on Monday, Wednesday, Friday over on the main channel. I realized that a lot of times when I'm recording God Eater 2, right, when I'm actually, don't mind a squeaky chair, it's kind of broken, uh, <laughs> in most situations of God Eater 2, whenever I'm not commentating or when I'm not able to make a comment on a particular thing because there's, you know, a, an event happening in game and it's a lot of, you know, combat, a lot of intense action. All you're hearing is... And that's not really entertaining to listen to. So I realized what I need to do is either live stream the game, right? Which is option one. Or two, start it up all over again since it's so early on. But make it co-op. Find a team. Assemble a team of two players, one including me, uh, or three, or preferably four, to do the story missions and to do it together as one big squad. Because squad missions in that game would be really awesome to enjoy together compared to playing the game solo and just enjoying it as is. And if possible, I would like to also try to stream the game. It's a very long game. Apparently, the story alone is like 66 and a half hours, and that's really, really, really long. At this point, I feel like I would like to, I prefer, to be honest, to just enjoy the game either in stream format or have uh, people to play with. So if you have the game yourself or would be considering playing the game yourself and you're a long-time viewer, uh, please do hit me up and contact me. If you're a content creator that makes anime games and stuff like that and you're interested in it, especially please contact me. I would love to work with more creators out there. Big creators, small creators, whichever. Just I want to be able to get to know people within the, you know, the anime games YouTube community and stuff. I don't know anybody who really except like Lost Pause, but it's not like I'm really, you know, connected with him. I want to try to find people that, you know, do something similar. So if you know somebody yourself that you really like to enjoy and watch and you know that, you know, they have the game or maybe they were considering getting a co-op series going on and want to be able to play God Eater 2, I'm totally down for it. I think it would be really fun. So that's the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. For Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, that's kind of where the balance gets thrown off with this new setup, but momentarily. I like the Corona Blossom Volume 3 that's going on on the series, and that could be also replaced by other vision novels in the future as the series ends. And I have a slew of vision novels to get through, so it's not like we're gonna run out of any of them anytime soon, including the Sakura games. And thank you all so much, everybody, for donating all the games and increasing my backlog. Y'all are way too kind, way too generous, and I am forever in your debt. Y'all are the best, and I hope you enjoy the playthroughs of these games that I play that you all given to me on Steam. So Corona Blossom will be finished up soon, I can always replace it with other games. Tales of Berseria I'm thinking of uploading as well on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. While it is also a JRPG like Persona 5, I feel like the tone and the colors and the visuals of Tales of Berseria and the art style as well fits Corona Blossom a little bit more. Corona Blossom is very happy, very you know easy going, and while Tales of Berseria does have its darker, grittier moments, its art style and its colors and its color palette in most situations is very bright and kind of chipper and a little bit silly, very very silly on, on the side. While primarily the story is very enjoyable and everything, I feel like it would just fit better with going Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, a little bit more on the lighter side of 
the Spectrum. And with that, I also was thinking adding Nekonin, continuing with Nekonin as a series. I'm really enjoying the game, and you could always swap in and out different version novels here and there whenever necessary. And because Senra Kagura is not too long, and it's a very fun game to play for the fan service, and I, I do enjoy the fan service, I'm not gonna lie. I have learned, I have discovered my love for the fan service. I think it would be a pretty solid game for us to play and just have a jolly good time looking at anime boobs and anime butts. At the same time, Persona 5 is going to be streamed every single Wednesday and Tales of Berseria is going to be streamed every single uh, every single Sunday. So I'm going to be able to provide more and more content this way and going to be able to also provide live content and live interaction and commentary with y'all while we play games together and have a good time. Overall, I feel like these changes were necessary in order to create a proper balance and create a proper schedule for our uploads because I know I've been absolutely awful and I want to apologize for that. I've been terrible at my upload schedule. I've been the worst and I'm surprised y'all aren't unsubscribing because of how crap I've been with it. Thank you so much for still sticking around to, through this channel and getting it to this point. We're pretty much cl we're climbing over to 1500 subscribers at this point and it's insane. It blows my mind how supportive y'all have been through this and how patient y'all have been through this. I've been way too patient and I'm just, I'm nothing but blessed to have incredible subscribers as y'all. Thank you. Thank you so much for being patient with me and being patient with this channel and this horrid, horrid upload schedule that I've had. If the schedule needs to adjust for any change, like maybe make it a little bit early and stuff, we will do so in the future and I'll make sure to keep y'all updated on social media. So please do follow me on Twitter. Links to that are going to be in the description below. Please do follow me on there. It's probably the best way, easiest way to catch me and get my attention. Also, if you want to join the Discord, we do have a Discord. Links to that in the description below as well. It's a joint Discord for the main channel and the second channel. And everybody is welcome. Everybody and anybody is welcome. We even have a uh, chat channel for anime stuff only. So if you want to join in for that, you're more than welcome to. Aside from that, I want to thank you so much for still sticking around and still being patient with the finals week and the final, I guess technically the final two, two weeks of finals that I had and being patient through graduation. And as a newly graduate of the Anime Titty Committee, <laughs> Big anime, god damn it, this thing gets in my way. Big anime titty committee. I will make sure that I use it as my IT skills to provide top quality anime content for this channel. <laughs> Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. My name is Thamriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a good day. And I'll see you all in the next episode or video or whatever I make. See ya. Not gonna lie, this thing looks really dumb on me. I look like a scholar. I look like a cosplayer. I'm looks like looks like I'm cosplaying Final Fantasy fourteen. I'm a scholar. I just need a a book and a carbuncle. <laughs> I am set. <laughs>